Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherryboy and welcome back to Ascended Hearts. Let's get right back into it. It feels weird to be here by myself. I look around for someone to talk to and finally approach the counter where we turn in quests. Excuse me. Yes? Yes? Have you ever heard of Ascendancy? Have I heard of what? Ascendancy. It's also called Ascendant Magic. Is that a new method of flight? Not even close. Then I have no idea. Oh, thanks anyway. As I look for someone else to talk, she calls after me. Oh. Hey, you're the new guy who joined Shuri's party, aren't you? <coughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. Is she going to give me a hard time about Shuri again? The guild master was asking about you. Me? Why? No idea. He might. He wanted to know who you are, where you came from, and how you ended up working with Shiori. That sort of thing. I see. If you see him around, maybe you should talk to him. All right. Thanks for letting me know. It's a little weird, though. I know he tried to warn me about Shiori, but what would make the guild master take specific interest in me? Well, if I run into him, I'll talk to him. Right now, though, I need to focus on asking people about Ascendant Magic. Yeah. That night, I arrived at the inn first. I spent the day walking up to random people and asking them if they ever heard of Ascendancy or Ascendant Magic. No one had. On the plus side, at least they didn't seem put off by me asking. Maybe adventurers ask random questions of strangers all the time. The door opens, and Aiko walks in. When she sees me, she joins me at my table. Any luck? No. Me neither. I have to wonder if she actually tried. Given her feelings about continuing along a story quest, it would probably insult her if I ask. Though, so I keep those thoughts to myself. Shoei bursts into the inn next and runs to our table. You look excited. Did you learn something? Which do you want first? The good news or the bad? Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> the good news or the bad news? The bad. The bad news. The good news. We look at each other. You always ask for the bad news first. The, that way, the good news will cheer you up. If you say so. What's the bad news, Shiori? We can't get into the place where we might learn about more. We we can't get into the place where we might learn more about ascendancy. And the good news? I found a place where we might learn more about ascendancy. Uh. Yeah, it really only works if I give the good news first. Well, what is this place, and why can't we go there? And why did she look so excited when she came in, if she didn't find anything that can actually help us? I returned to the ancient library of Kerr to search for a reference to Ascendant Magic. I found one, but it was only a tiny reference. It mentioned Ascendant Magic as one of the primary interests of the interests of the worshippers at the worshippers at the Temple of Bazal. So what's the problem? Bazal, I've heard that name. The Temple of Bazal is one of the most popular raids. Raid? You mean like a raid quest? You know about raids? Is your memory returning? I can't I can't remember if that was the voice I gave her, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. My memory of RPGs is just fine, thank you. My know my knowledge of how those things correspond to this world is still not so good. Um, could you refresh my memory? I don't know much about raids either. Uh, okay. Rare item at Rare adventure item dungeons are special locations filled with powerful monsters, and they always contain fantastic rewards for any adventurer who makes it to the who makes it to the end. So sorry, everybody. <laughs> They're called raids because of the acronym, and because at the start, adventurers would rush in to try to raid the rewards before anyone else. That was before they knew the rewards would replenish. Why do they replenish? I assume the monsters get new items ready. Why? Or maybe the gods replace the rewards. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. But, oh, never mind. So if we do this raid, we'll learn more about Ascendant Magic? We might. However, the Temple of Bazal is only open to parties with at least four members. Oh. Silence descends over us. It was hard enough getting Aiko to join. How could we possibly get a fourth party member? Well, I guess we have to try, right? All right, let's go hunting for a new member. Last time, we, when we posted our request for a healer, we left to wait. This time, we stay in the hopes of roping in anyone who seems even a little interested. Our request is simple. We need a temporary party member for a single quest in the Temple of Bazal. One by one, adventurers walk to the board and to look over quests. One by one, they read our notice and turn away without more than a quick glance in our direction. 
By the time five people have ignored our request, I'm a bit annoyed. It's time to take a more direct approach. When the next adventurer reads it, I step forward. Hi! How you doing? What are you doing? I'm a new adventurer, and I've never been on a raid before. Want to join my party to help me out? The adventurer gives me a withering stare. By your party, you mean hers? I glance back at Shuri. Well, yes, uh, we're in the same party. No thanks. I glare at the adventurer's departing back. <laughs> this is ridiculous! Another person arrives to check the quest. She reads the notice, she gives us a quick look and turns away. I step forward to stop her. Hey! Uh, I'm a new adventurer, and I'd really like to try out this raid. I'm not joining the traitor's party. Stand up for Shuri, claim it's a different party. Stand up! There is no logical reason to believe Shuri would betray anyone. Besides, it's just a raid. Why would, why would she betray us on a raid? I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Defeated, I step back to wait in silence again. Hearing their absurd beliefs about Shuri makes it even worse. She doesn't seem as angry as I expected, though. Annoyed, yes, but not as much as she would be for someone that everyone believes is a traitor. Someone else arrives to look over the quest. She ignores our notice. Then another one arrives. He reads it and shakes his head. Aiko steps forward. Huh? What are you? It's okay. I'm the one the traitor will kill in our quest, so you'll be perfectly safe if you join our party. Don't say things like that! Wait. She believes? What? The adventurer leaves, but Aiko waves urgently to the next one who arrives. Won't you join our party? It's just for a single dungeon, and I'm the only one who was doomed to die anyway. STOP SAYING THAT! Despite her efforts- oh wait, did I miss something? Yeah. Oh wait, no, there was- oh, I lost it! Ah! Yeah, yeah, it's done. Blah, blah. Sorry. Despite her efforts, it still isn't enough to sway anyone. We stay there until late in the evening, when we finally give it, give it up as a lost cause and decide to try again tomorrow. Darn it, we lost. After a long morning of failed recruitment attempts, we gather at the Indy Commissariate, and to have lunch, and try to think of a new plan, but mainly, conversate. This is the worst. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. But it is my fault. You two would have, been, have better luck forming your own party and asking for two new members. What would be the point of that? It, this is your request. I stared at her in shock. I expected her to leap at the first opportunity to have Shore leave our party. I... She seems to be at a loss for words. Of course, we could give up. Not a chance. Then... Uh, I guess we need a new plan. The Temple of Bazal is out. Dr. Takizawa still needs a couple of days to complete his research. I don't suppose either of you found any references to Ascendancy? Nope. None. Then, where do we go from here? Before either of us can answer, an unfamiliar voice cuts through our conversation. Whoa! The new waifu! Yeah! You go to the Temple of Bazal. A woman I've never seen before walks up to our table. Not only is she carrying unsheathed daggers, but the very way she moves make her seem dangerous. I'm sure I have noticed someone like her in town. From the baffled looks on Shiori and Aiko's faces, they don't know her either. Who are you? My name is Chis. Chise. I'm your fourth party member. Yeah, and the new waifu! We all stare at the woman. I know we posted a request for a new party member, and we can't exactly afford to be picky about who we take, but I didn't expect someone to approach us so bluntly about it. She sits at the table with us. Well, don't gawk. We need to prepare for the Temple of Bazal. Are we going today? Shuri recovers her composure first. Yes, we can go today, as long as everyone is ready. The sooner we get it ov over with, the better. Sure, let's go today, but we don't even know you. Let's go! It doesn't matter why she wants to join us. We need a party member, and she's interested. That's all I need to know. Hi, Ito. Aiko, neither of you have been on a raid before, correct? That's right. Well, I, uh, yes. It's not like I can tell her I've gone on raids in M MMORPGs. At best, she'll think I'm crazy. At worst, MMORPG means something here, and I'll have accidentally declared membership to some secret cult. <laughs> what about you, Chisei? I've gone on many raids. In fact, I've been to the Temple of Bazal many times. Is that why she wants to join us? It's her favorite dungeon or something? Enough to overcome even Shiori's reputation? This one will be a little different. We aren't going to grab the rewards and rush for the boss. We need to do research along the way. Research? Research? Supposedly, the worshippers were interested interested in ascendant magic that the legendary power said to allow people to communicate with monsters? You've heard of it? Obviously. Dr. Takizawa would be so happy. <laughs> Why are you researching it? It could have something to do with the Dark Wolves. And there will- 
and then there was this mysterious woman at the sacred spring. I can't shake the strange encounter from my mind. It couldn't have been coincidence that we were at the sacred springs to investigate the attacks when she appeared, could it? It seemed like she wanted to, us to leave as quickly as possible, like she had something to hide. Then again, she left before us. Maybe she's naturally antagonistic. On the other hand, in this place, that could have been the, th the start of a side quest. The point is, we want to search the Temple of Bazal for any information about Ascendant Magic. Hmm... Still interested? Yes. Great, when can we leave? Wait, if we're going on the tem Temple of Bazal raid, we need to stock up on curatives. Good point. Why? I mean, we have a healer. No offense to your healer, but I'd rather not place all our hopes on her. But... It's okay, I wouldn't want everyone depending on me anyway. Nevertheless, she sounds a little put out as she says it. The Temple of Bazal is extremely dangerous, particularly if you plan to poke in every nook and cranny for clues about Ascended Magic. Okay, okay, okay. She rises from the table. I'll stock up- <clears throat> I'll stock up- uh, sorry. I'll stock up on items. We watch her leave the inn and then exchange baffled glances with one another. <coughs> sorry. Is it just my amnesia, or is this a little weird? Hmm, on one hand, people join new parties all the time, some adventurers wait around until a party has an opening, especially if it's for a specific quest. She did say she has a lot of experience with the Temple of Bazal, she might be a professional raider. And on the other hand, I find it hard to believe we're the only party planning to do this raid in the near future. Why did she pick us? Maybe she wanted to help us out. Maybe. The dubious note in her voice suggests she doesn't share Aiko's optimistic appraisal of our new party member. Wait a minute, I see where this is going. This is the part where a mysterious person joins us and our party becomes divided due to mistrust and lack of communication. Oh no, I'm not letting that happen. Let's ask her about it. What? Ask. We walk up to her and say, why do you want to join our party? Easy. And if she doesn't answer? She will. <clears throat> they both look a little skeptical about that, but I stand up and lead the way out of the inn. Nice, let's go. There you are. I bought several curatives. Add me to your party so we can all use them. Add her to the party? How? When Aiko joined, she just joined. Your party leader needs to add me. I glance over to my shoulder and I glance over my shoulder as Shiori and Aiko join us. <clears throat> Shiori, is there a way to add Chisei to our party? Yes, but first, she fixes Chisei with, with an intense stare. Why do you want to join our party? I winced when I said it at the end, I, it had a casual curious tone. Sure, however, makes it sound like an accusation. Oh, why do you want to join our party? There. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I have my reasons. What are they? For the time being, I prefer to keep that information to myself. My heart sinks. Hmm. Has anyone else offered to join your party? No. Then you need me if you want to enter the Temple of Bazal. She's right. I glance at Shuri and give a tiny nod. She doesn't look happy, but she sighs. Fine, you're in. Per perfect. Once again, she leaves first. As she heads toward the field, we follow at a slower pace. Now what? It's awfully strange that she won't tell us why she wanted to join. There's nothing to worry about. Let's keep an eye on her. There's nothing to worry about. I know things are different here, but this just isn't that suspicious. She says behavior is a little weird, but maybe she's just a private person. You're very trusting. What's the worst that could happen? She turns out to be a traitor and attacks us, and attacks us. I don't think she's a traitor any more than Shiori is. Hmm. I hope you're right. Alright, to the adventurer. To the adventure. Outside of town, I look around. For the first time, I realize I've never traveled far from Lightshire. The library, the Sacred Spring, Dr. Takizawa's lab. It's a good hike to reach them. But nothing more when I can but nothing much when I consider that there's an entire world out there. Where's the Temple of Bazal? Bazal. Do you remember the forest where we gathered eggs? <clears throat> Sorry. How could I forget? Indeed. <laughs> what happened? Is there a story here? We don't have time for stories. We don't have time for stories. Yeah. Her flat tone leaves no room for argument. Our new party member is not one for wasting time. It seems she makes her point even clearer when she starts through the field without us. I guess she really wants to go on this raid. Hmm. <clears throat> we hurry enough to catch up to her. Anyway, once you go through the forest, you'll eventually reach another forest. The Temple of Bazal is in there. What's in between? In between what? The forests. Nothing. Then, it, isn't it a single forest? No, you'll see. Somehow she makes a simple phrase sound foreboding. 
When we reach the forest, I'm getting tired. Chisei is far ahead of us, although still within sight. On one hand, I'm glad we haven't stopped to fight anything. On the other hand, a small rest couldn't hurt. Aiko and I are both lagging behind. Several yards ahead of us, Shuri looks back every now and then to make sure we're still there. My next skill point is going into endurance. There's an endurance skill? I really, really hope so. She stops and hunches over as she tries to catch her breath. Phew, not used to this. I stop as well. Shiori, wait up a minute. She turns and walks back to us with a frown. You two really need to improve your physical capabilities if you hope to make it as adventurers. I know, but for now, can we take a quick rest? I am the party leader after all. She cups her hands around her mouth and shouts to Chisei, who gets further away with each passing moment. Hey! Chisei! Hey! No response. She scowls and shakes her head. I'll go get her. She breaks into a run to chase down Chisei. Those two aren't exactly going to be best friends, are they? I go sits down on a nearby tree stump. I don't know why Chisei is in, is in such a rush. Me neither. The forest is quiet as we catch our breaths. Occasionally, a flapper soars by above us, but none of them attack. Time passes with no sign of Shiori or Chisei. The forest gets even quieter. Is it just me, or is it getting a little too quiet here? Hmm, she's right. The forest no longer feels peaceful so much as dead. She stands up, and I place my hand on my weapon in case something happens. A twig snaps, and we both whirl around. The stranger and I shout at the same time, Oh, you again? You again? Aiko puts her hands in front of her defensively, as if expecting to be shoved into something. Seeing this woman at the Shaked Spring was one thing, but meeting her on her way to the Temple of Bazal, too? It can't be a coincidence. Does she have the same knives as she say? Okay, once again, we accuse each other in unison. Are you following us? Are you following us? I pause. Us? <laughs> I look around for any sign of who she's traveling with, and she dashes away. Wait! I take a step towards her, but she's already vanished into the trees. That was... weird. Could she be investigating Ascendant Magic too? Approaching footsteps make us, makes us both jump, but it's only Shiori and Chisei. Did something happen? You two look like you've seen a ghost. The woman from the Sacred Spring was here! What? She asked, she asked if we were following her. Strange. We don't have time for this. If you rested enough, let's continue on. As impatient as ever, I wonder how Shiori convinced her to go back for us all. Maybe she at least realizes that she can't get into the Temple of Bazaar without her full party. Ah, no, she had different knives. With a sigh, Aiko and I rejoin them and continue on through the forest. <gasps> Whoa! One minute we were walking between no more trees, but the next minute... Ah, uh, um... Now do you understand why the two forests are considered separate? Yeah. Keep moving, we're almost there. She marches on as steadfastly as if we're not in an evil forest of doom. Of course, if the Temple of Bazal is her favorite raid, she must be used to it. We keep walking, but can't help but feel uneasy. Why does it look like this? The Temple of Bazal has corrupted the land around it. Corrupted? What about the monsters? Nothing lives out here. That's a relief. At least if the Temple's corruption makes the forest look this bad, I can't imagine what corrupted monsters must look like. All corrupted beings moved into the Temple to be close to their god. Oh, you know, that is not comforting at all. We're gonna see them inside. It wouldn't be much of a raid if there weren't monsters now, would it? I knew I didn't want to be an adventurer. I'm starting to remember why I didn't want to be one either. And there's something in the temple about ascended magic. Like I said, the worshippers were researching it. Well, the creepy monsters were there. Of course, the worshippers were corrupted too. Somehow, I can hear the capital letter. <laughs> she keeps mentioning worshippers. Not worshippers. It's not a casual people who go to the temple to worship sort of word, but a specific term used to describe a group. I open my mouth to ask just what sort of temple this is, and then a dark, creepy building comes into view. Um... <coughs> we both stop dead and stare at it. Up ahead, Chisei apparently realizes we stopped following her. What's the holdup? We're coming. It's the first time seeing the Temple of Bazal. Remember, it's awe-inspiring when you're used to it. When you're used to, not used to it? Awe-inspiring. That's one for, word for it. 
three of us follow Chisei toward the temple doors, and I just hope it looks less ominous on the inside. Oh no, <laughs> so much for looking less ominous inside. This place makes my head hurt. Shiori, what sort of place is the Temple of Bazal? This doesn't look anything like the church back in Lightshire. Why would it? It has nothing to do with our religion. The worshippers are generally considered to be a cult. I'd never have guessed. <laughs> so this Bazal god that they worship. Bazal is the name of their god, it's the name of their land. Then why is it called the Temple of Bazal? Because that's where it's from? She looks at me as though I'm dense. I try to work my way through this. You mean, this building originally came from another country called Bazal? That's right. The worshippers transported it here. No. Please don't tell me it walked. Oh no. Thank goodness. Then how did it get here? No one knows, but we suspect the secret worshippers used dark rituals to open a portal which transported their temple here. Seriously? When most people just build a new temple? D did you just say dark rituals? Yes. How are we going to meet the worshippers? Running into crazy cultists on the raid never occurred to me. I wonder how the adventuring rules ha handle humans fighting other humans. It probably isn't good. No, we shouldn't run into them. They've long since abandoned the Temple of Bazal. Phew. I thought you said they didn't mind the corruption monsters running around. They didn't. According to the stories, the Temple of Bazal became a haven for the worshippers to study arcane magic, perform the rituals, and of course, worship Azalon Arth. God bless you. <laughs> huh? That wasn't a sneeze, Hayato. Azalanorth Roth is the god's name. Azalanorth? Really? I look at the temple and think about the name. Did I take a wrong turn and wander out of RPG into some Lovecraftian horror game? Everyone, everyone, stay focused. It's hard to stay focused in a place that looks like this. Where should we look for clues? The worshippers conducted research here, so we should first, so we should find some sort of library or archives. Something about what you said nags in my thoughts, like I forgot something important. Disturbed by more than just the building, I walk with the others deeper into the temple. Oh god! <laughs> ah! So this is what a corrupted monster looks like. Less gawking, more fighting. The monster certainly is going to wait for us to get our act together. It dives at Iko, who repels it with a flash of light. I run toward it and swing my sword. Shiori just joins us with a burst of fire, and Chisei lunges for it with her daggers. It's tougher than the regular flappers, but not bad with all four of us working together. Chisei is the definite boon to our team, with quick striking attacks that don't give the moment the monster a minute to rest. rest. We, defe we defeat the corrupted flapper, and I let out a sigh of relief. Oh yeah. This is just the beginning. Stay alert. As we proceed through the temple, it only gets weirder. Not only did the architecture make my head spin, but soon we pass strange carvings, our work of endless abysses, an incomprehensible monstrosity, and arcane symbols that make my skin crawl. Wait up a minute. She walks into an enclave, but beneath the terrifying pain again, returns with a sheet of paper in her hands. This is a note written by one of the worshippers. I was gonna say it was a toilet paper, but okay. What? Why was it lying in a random corner? These notes are part of the Bazal Temple Raid. Most adventurers skip them to get to the rewards as quickly as possible. Many of the creepier dungeons have scattered journals and messages like this. At this point, I shouldn't be surprised. I bet there are also locked rooms we have to open by solving puzzles. We should look for every note. We should focus on the raid. We should look for every note. Right. The more we find, the better our chances of learning about Ascendant Magic. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I haven't read the note notes in a long time, but it could prove useful. What does the first one say? Let's see. For 12 days, I have been researching the phenomenon known as Ascendancy. Ah! Strange tremors have been fl have been felt have been felt of late, and three of my fellow researchers have fallen ill. Our pleas to Azarel and Ortha. Go unanswered. Why has he fallen silent? We must find a way to reach him. This mystical power may be the key to our prayers. She folds up the pla pla paper and puts it in her inventory. I assume. So they wanted to use ascendant ma magic to communicate with their god. That's what it sounds like. If you're finished here, we should move on. Once again, something tugs at my mind. What am I forgetting? I feel like I had a conversation that I never finished. I try to think my way through it, but then we reach a strange door. My thoughts grind to a halt. Shiori reaches for the door handle, but Chisei holds up her hand. It's locked. We need to find the three medallions. I knew it! I knew there would be a puzzle door! All three of them look at me. Is your memory coming back? Oh, well... <laughs> Whoa! 
The corrupted Whammer bounces around us angrily and finally decides to attack Chisei. She takes it out quickly before any of us can move. I still feel bad about fighting these things. Even the corrupted ones are cute. Cuteness has no effect on Chisei. She sheathes her dagger with an impassive expression and walks away from the door. Twisting a lamp on a nearby wall reveals a hidden passageway. We need to find the medallions. Our trip through the secret passage leads us to a key, which opens a chest that contains a green jewel, which Chisei promptly takes back out of the passage and embeds in a painting on the other side of the hall to open another secret passage. Dang, she knows everything! Along the way, we find more corrupted flappers and whammers, and Shuri picks up another note. It sounds like this one written by the same researcher. Ascendancy proves elusive. Alzon Wrath remains deaf to our cries. Five more have fallen ill. We, ha we don't have much time left now. I only have one hope left. I will go to the Sanctum and speak with Azalon or Wrath. Someone told me they gave up on Ascended Magic and we came in here for nothing. We don't know that yet. Keep moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. I'm going to have to leave it here for today, everybody. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. If there's any other games you would like me to play, please comment down below as well. If you like this and would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, as that would be epically appreciated of you. And as always, my name is Cheerboy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! See ya!